Hey guys, today I'm going to be getting into voxel horror early because recently they just added this big green tunnel that says voxel horror mode coming soon. But it's really interesting because they added another one of those tunnels downstairs. So today I'm going to be seeing what's behind them and everything that you can do inside of them. So without further ado, let's go to the video. Also, I'm recording in here right now. This is my fan code 2H and just join it if you're bored and big scary or you want to meet me. Alright, so you might be asking yourselves, how do I get out of the map? And my method is actually really simple. I go down this yellow tube in the shop, and if you don't already know how to do this, then I'll just teach you real quick. Alright, so step one, you actually want to go to the very corner of your boundary. I have like a rectangular sort of shape boundary, and if you have this size of the boundary, then you're pretty good. Then you want to come over here, making sure not to cross this yellow line. Then hold your hands up. When you're sitting right on the ledge like this, press your Oculus button and then walk over here to the other corner of your boundary. Then press your Oculus button again and then put your hands on the ground and walk back to your boundary. Then just go over here. You can see all those levels and banana bucks. But for now, I'm going to teach you this. So walk over here, go over here, and then you should be about your body should be about right here. And you should hover your arm over this metal thing. Then just jump onto that metal pipe. Then jump to these two lights. And then once you're on this pole over here, you want to get your right hand and then put it in there, just like that. Now bring yourself under it and then to this side so it's easier to move. I'll just walk up. And with this, you can go behind there and you can go into that little space right there. But for me, I'm going to go into rock before. So what you want to do from here, you want to make your way across here. When you come to this corner, just turn this way. Then walk up this ramp to where this bunny is. And then, when you get to this pole right here, you want to grab on it, and then walk up it. You should put your hand right there, and then put your body on the end of this pole, and then pull this arm out. Just like this. You might go flying there, but if you do, just try and catch yourself there, and if you can't, then just restart your game. Make sure not to hit that, because you'll get jump scared, and then jump onto that metal thing right there. Just try not to clip back in. Then from here, it's pretty straightforward. You just wanna jump onto that metal thing, not like in the middle, but on the very end, just like this. You wanna do this because you don't want your arm to glitch back inside. Now this space is like really skinny, so just keep your arm on the very outside of it. You can try not to clip into the wall. And as you can see, we're already almost to the place where we can jump in. So once you get here, what you wanna do is you actually just want to jump in this green thing. And then you're officially here. So, what you can do here, you can actually go outside of this while people are watching you. It's really funny to show your friends and stuff. Or you could see what awaits you down here. It takes a few turns and then it goes down and finally makes a drop. And this is where it changes. So, once you get down here, you might not know this, but this connects to this. So they both lead to the same place, which is Vox of Horror, obviously. So I guess that's why they put two tunnels, one for easy access and then one down here if you're just like already in the shop. And then yeah, once you go down here and then you just let go, then you'll fall out of the map and probably die. It's really dark down there for a reason, so if you fall down then you just fall out. I think Shrek made it that a thing just to like keep players out of here. But yeah, now you just basically have like an entire like vent system that goes throughout like the main lobby place and it's really cool. And finally, you can just walk out here and you're out of box of four. Anyways guys, if you found that video helpful, it means a lot to me if you subscribe and like the video. I'm trying to beat Jax to 50K, so like you gotta subscribe. He's already ahead of me and I had like a thousand subscriber head start, so yeah, I'm probably gonna lose. Anyways, I hope you guys have a nice day and I'll see you guys in my next video.